This is your brain. This is your brain on Overwatch. Any questions? It doesn't spark joy. The game doesn't spark joy. It sparks despair, the likes of which it is so unbelievable. You know, I don't know. I'm gonna call it quits here tonight. I'm gonna go to bed early, probably, and get some rest. And I'm not gonna be playing any more Overwatch, probably, going forward. I might play it, like, on my own time, like, when I want to. But, like, as a stream game, it's just... I just... It's not as entertaining. And it's just not fun. Like, it's not a fun game to, like, play publicly. Because it's just like, it, and just like, it's not a fun game most of the time, it seems. I'd ra- I, here's a good, here's a good, good example of how I feel right now about Overwatch. I would rather be, I would rather be playing League of Legends than play Overwatch most of the time. Which is a terrible sign. It's a terrible, dark, portentous omen. Like, it's just, ugh. Like, whatever. <laughs> This game fucking rules. But yeah, um, for a while there, I was playing mostly just like Overwatch and like kind of just like time filler sorts of games, but that's all done. I'm no longer doing that anymore, mostly because Overwatch continues to piss me off. I like Overwatch. I think it's fun to play. It's just not a good stream game for me. So from here on out, I'm playing only the cool shit. I'm all, I, get, this is games that inflame the spirit. All that bullshit is out. Apex Legends, League of Legends, Overwatch. It's out. It's out of here. Nobody likes it anymore. And what's in are cool games. Rollerdrome. I was playing um, this insane game called Spark 3, The Electric Jester, which you can tell is crazy based on the title. But the, the game is very, like, Sonic Adventure inspired. But it, it, imagine if Sonic Adventure games were good instead of bad. And it's like that. I blasted through it in like a clean like eight hours. It was so much fun and also the story was insane. It was written by a crazy jester probably, if I were to take a guess. Super fun. Like, games that are just like cool and fun and make you feel shit instead of games that make you feel terrible. Like, <laughs> like most multiplayer games. So that's why I'm playing Rollerdrome. Yeah! That's why I'm playing Rollerdrome, because I'm trying to I'm trying to explore all the many avenues of video games. And also because I kept hearing good stuff about Rollerdrome, and it looked super cool. I've just been on a cool games kick. Once I finish up with Rollerdrome, I'll probably go back to Neon White, which I have been playing on my own for a while. And Neon White is really cool. If I can figure out a way to skip faster through all of the cutscenes of that game, because it is... I mean, it's a level of, of, it's a level of bad weeb storytelling, the likes of which I've never seen before in my entire life. Yeah, I can't watch Overwatch. I'm overwatching over, <laughs> you're overwatching Overwatch. And if you were on patrol and you were overwatching Overwatch while well, you watched Overwatch, and then you would be overwatching Overwatch while well, you overwatched. I have, that's, uh, those stopped becoming words almost instantly with a sniper, exactly. Exactly, 100%, just like in, um, just like in XCOM. <laughs> Actual Overwatch, <laughs> yes, yes, 100%. Um, yeah, like, Overwatch, I really want them to fi fix the matchmaking in Overwatch, and also, well, depending on if it's broken or not, I think that, I think the professional players are still in dispute as to how broken it is, if it's actually as broken as people say it is, or if that even matters at the lower ranks. I'm not good at Overwatch, by the way, I just, I, I play it, I play it. Um, so I don't, my opinions matter for nothing really, but here they are anyways. I just want them to like fix up some weird shit about the game. And even then I still won't stream it because it's just, it's a game that pacifies the mind. It inspires no joy. It inspires no, no new thoughts, no ideas, no creativity, no longing for more of it. It's just a constant slog fest with some high points every once in a while. Nobody plays Overwatch. Seriously, that's not addictive. 
true. That's how a lot of these games are. All of my all of my shit games on this list here. Well, there's not a list here. This is just an image. Um, you're a smart fella. You know the difference between you know the difference between images and lists. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah. That's why I stopped playing. Um, I, that's why I stopped playing Dota. And I liked Dota more than I like than I liked League of Legends. But I stopped playing Dota because after a while, I realized I wasn't gonna get really like I I wasn't willing to put the time in to get good at it. And when stuff went wrong in the game, I didn't feel I didn't feel mad at it anymore. I just felt sad. <laughs> like it was just a game. Like I would finish a game. I would finish like a sixty minute long game of Dota. And I and I would lose. And I would go. Well, I guess I should queue up again. Yeah, I was having so many bad wa matches in Overwatch, and I switched over to playing Spark 3, the Electric Jest. <laughs> and it was so much fun, and it reminded me that video games are supposed to be fun, and a thing I do in my off time, that uh, I went crazy. Uh, I went crazy with, uh, with joy and happiness, and my uh, tears springing from my eyes unbidden. I played League for two weeks and it was as toxic as a broken refrigerator is inside the person was on vacation. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, League does something to the... League... Le the human mind wasn't meant to play League of Legends. The human mind was meant to, like, uh, like eat berries and... <laughs> you sound like a poet. I sound like an insane person, but thank you. Well, that's the same thing, really. Um... Yeah, the human mind wasn't meant to play League of Legends. The human mind was meant to eat berries and to hunt the mammoth and uh, to raise children, and that's it. That's it. It wasn't meant to. It wasn't meant to see all of this, all of the the lights and colors of the League of Legends, and interpret it um, as it, it, it. My brain now interprets all of the stuff that like. Have you ever tried to show like a regular person, <laughs> like a regular person, a game of League of Legends, like? I get the vi like I don't know all of the specific rules of football, but somebody could put football on the television, and I know that one guy has to run to one side and one guy has to run to the other side, and if they have the ball, they can do that. So I can kind of get the gist of it. Like, if you wanted to try to teach somebody what League of Legends was by showing them like professional gameplay, uh, they would throw themselves off of the balcony of their houses. They would not be able to to handle it. It just it doesn't it doesn't parse. Like, it doesn't visually make sense to anybody. But, like, when you're playing it, and you're so deep into it because you put how many hours into it, me, uh, I'm talking about myself, how many goddamn hours, then it, it just makes you go crazy. Um, so many levels of in intricacy, and every single, every single layer of that intricacy is filled with the absolute worst people in the world. <laughs> um, at every conceivable level, except for Faker, who I think is probably just the best player on Earth. And... Just kind of plays the game super good. No controversies. No nothing like that. It's the nine rings of hell. Exactly. A hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. And playing... It doesn't matter what, which of these games that you play. The ninth level of hell for all of them is playing whatever the support class is. That's the worst... That's the worst possible situation you could be in. Um, it is... Always... Oof. I do not want... I do not want it. I do not like it. I, I do not like it. I do not like it even a single bit. Anyways, so that was a really long rant, uh, but it was also an entire explanation of why it is that I'm only playing cool, awesome games for sick, uh, for sick people now. Um, oh yeah, oh yeah. And 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 you and me. We've been, it's been Virgil and Dante for far too long, climbing up Satan's asshole. And I'm, I'm breaking free. I'm in Purgatorio now and I'm rising above it all. I'm rising up. Rising up past all of my sin, all of my despair, rising into the spheres of heaven. Where I will ascend to the throne of God. Where I belong. I drank a, I drank a monster I energy drink not that long ago. I'm fucking pumped. <laughs> well, I, I am despair. Yeah, it feels like that sometimes. Um, anyways, I do actually have to go now. Um, I'm not streaming tomorrow, but I am streaming on Saturday. 
or maybe I'm streaming tomorrow and I'm not streaming Saturday. I made a schedule and then I don't remember what it is because I'm not a smart person. I'm just a pretty one. <laughs> playing more roller drum. We're gonna play roller drum. Let's see how we're we looking. We're, we're looking good. Oh, I'm so excited. I've been excited all day to play roller drum. I guess I could have played, I didn't have any work today, so I could have played it at literally any time, but I just didn't. Because I'm one of those people that uh, it's sort of like a smart person, but instead of having smart ideas, I have no ideas.